Good morning and welcome to SA Riverland Farming with the Olmeyers. I am out here this morning getting ready to feed some horses. It's winter and we have horses on the property and I thought maybe you might like to see a little bit of what happens when it's winter and we need to feed horses and what's involved and a few of the things I do with them. So it's beautiful, it's frosty, the fog is... behind me we'll go bring them in around to the yards to feed them and have a couple that are already in the yards Sally, should I feed you hey should I come around and get some food ice on the trough today see all the ice along here all the lines it's pretty cold here are the other two so at the moment these two are in they've been a little bit more sensitive to green feed at the moment Okay, so here's Astro. Astro's saying, fellas behind your mum, I don't want to come too close. Hey, good boy. And over here is Holly. Hey, Holly. Do you some warm food? I mean, that was a fella right behind me. Weren't you? You were just nudging my, my hood, weren't you? Yes, you were. The sip boy, aren't you? Huh? He's not the sip boy. In the mornings, um, at present, I need to get up and need to come and let these horses who are out in the paddock in so they can come in and be in here with Holly and then I'll get their hard feed ready for them and give it to them. Keep Holly back. Holly, Holly. Hmm? Here comes Bella with Holly, stay back. back. And here comes. Ready. Like their bowls. Oh, it's really cold this time of year. Getting horse food ready, unrugging horses, and all those sorts of things. One thing I love about this time of year is the beauty that you see around you. So when I'm feed, like in the hard feed and all together, this point in time, I love looking out behind me over here. See how, especially with a foggy morning like today, and it's frosty. It's just beautiful. Look at that colors and um, the same it's just so refreshing and so revitalizing and I, I love that even though it's early morning it's freezing cold <laughs> So I'm still doing that at present and um, along with the psyllium, I also do both at the same time. And um, I found it more palatable for the horses to use Equilax at the moment rather than just a straight cinema, um, psyllium. Sorry. So I've been doing that. So as you see from all the different things in, that's from the point of view of, of where and, and why I do those things that I do. And I have found that they, it works quite well. The other thing as well at the moment, as I said earlier, two of my horses have been sensitive to the green feed. So their, their um, behavior has changed a little. And um, so I've been working with that. And um, we also had another pony who did this once before. And I've noticed and learned through the different things I've read and studied and also done 
is now with these two horses especially i'll only let them out at night and bring them in during the day because the sugars in the grasses are so much higher during the day when there's photosynthesis than during the night when the sun is down i also add in calcium salt and magnesium into their feeds because this helps their bodies assimilate the sugars that are in their in their body and um, it makes quite a big difference so i've only noticed the behavioral issues with my mare um, over the last week or two and we did have rain um, well it must be about three weeks ago now and so we do have a green um, flush of grasses that have come up so I've also been putting this into their feed at the moment just to help help their bodies and Holly has actually been kept in for four days off the green feed completely um, this week well we're in the new week now but yeah over this last week and so I'll actually do some groundwork with her today and if she looks improved and a lot calmer I will also ride her and see how she goes. Have you noticed it's very quiet today? Mind you, I do hear the chickens going brock 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 and I do hear the roosters going go loo loo and maybe a few horses going nay because they want their food but have you noticed the silence there's something missing have you seen what it is or do you realize what it is And now time for those exciting jobs of rugs off and manure to picked up. But have you figured out what's missing yet? Because there should be some little helpers here helping, especially seeing one of them has a pony. I'm getting hot, <laughs> all this work. No, it's good. One cold morning, work makes you warm. I really enjoy that. Here's the blood pumping. So, yes, the thing that's missing are the children, especially the little ones. Big kids, you don't always, you know, know whether they're here or not, but little children are so noisy and they're always playing and always boisterous, especially being boys, that you know when they're not here. So, the question is, why are they not here? So, did you enjoy some horse antics while I was doing the manure and feeding them? Maybe you figured out who is the, the boss of the herd and the order as it goes down. Now, the reason why those little children are here is because they actually have some friends over and they've gone out fishing this morning. They have braved the cold, gone down to the river, which isn't too far from us, and um, gone to do some fishing. I'm not too sure what the success rate will be, but I look forward to hearing. And um, later in the day, we will do, I'll do some training and they'll be around then and may even have a ride too. I've been around with Opal. <laughs> Come on, say hello. Full left out. Yeah, all that attention going to the horses. Hey, say hi, Opal. Yeah. Yeah, say hello. Yes. Yes. She's a lovely dog to have. And you look after everything so well, don't you? She looks after our chickens and our horses goats, the children, everything we have. They're a special charge, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Good girl. So I'm about to head out to work with the horses and there's a few things we need. So today I'm doing mostly groundwork and we'll just do a little bit of riding on top if the horses are saddled. So we need to get the gear together. So halters, bridles, saddle blankets, um, grooming gear as well, and uh, get them all sorted and set up. So off we go and collect these things together.
now that she's been locked up for longer and sort of brain feed and also supplementing to help her body assimilate the brain feed. I'm going to try and work with her today and just see how she goes. So there's our training done for the morning. Uh, as you can see, both horses are still learning. It's because Holly had only finished or completed basic training uh, about five months ago. And um, we've been doing slow and steady work with her. And Kelly only got halfway through her training. If you remember in our previous post when we had all the rain, I mentioned how her eye had, um, uh, we had an issue with her eye and it had to be tended to. So she only got through two weeks of training instead of three. And I haven't actually done too much with her then because she came home and her eye had to heal and also we were sick. So they're still learning quite a bit and um, and that as well. So it's, it's fun and it's a good journey and we hope you enjoyed this time. Hi, so now we come to the end of the day and we're at the end of day routine now. So end of day routine includes re-rugging because it's a frost again tonight, getting feed buckets and also um, picking up extra manure. It's really exciting. So enjoy the rest of the end of day routine and seeing what we've done for the day. Hey Holly, hey, am I talking to somebody? You gonna come and see? There's Holly, say hello. Can you talk? Mm. Can you say hello? Mm. Do I smell like chocolate almonds? Mm. I smell like chocolate almonds, so. I don't have any food, okay. <laughs> it's going through too. The sun is setting on another beautiful Riverland winter's day. The sun has been shining gorgeously all day today. It's almost felt like spring, except for that crisp breeze throughout the day. So we finished the horses routine for the day. There's a lot that we do, of course, in between all this. Uh, this is just one portion of what we actually do on our farm. But I've hoped you found of some interest and um, please remember to, to like this post and please subscribe. And also if you have any comments you'd like to make, please write them down below and I'll read them and answer them. It's been a pleasure presenting this to you. Till next time from Riverland, sorry, SA Riverland Farming with the Olmeyers. Bye. So I hope you enjoyed all the, the feeding um, experience with the horses. This is just a quick note to say that we all do, do treat, raise, feed our horses differently. It's a bit like children. We have different ways of doing of disciplining or guiding or educating our children. And I'm aware as much as same with horses, we all have our different point of views and different ways of doing things. So it's just a quick note to say, I don't, I know from my own point of view, I don't have everything correct. I've learned a lot, still have a lot to learn. So just a quick note to say, to remember always to be kind, always to be aware of everyone's differences. And we're always learning and going through. And also I'm not a doctor or a vet. So the things I do does work for me and our horses, but also it could be a different situation for you. So please just keep that in mind. I remember to always be helpful and encouraging um, to each other at all times because we're all learning and all enjoying enjoying something that we love and it helps when we're encouraged. What do you reckon, Trooper? Okay. <laughs>